I've always found it fascinating to see a craftsman, a tradesman, create something by hand from a raw product into an end item of high quality, something you can use. There's something fascinating about it and sadly over the years we've lost those skills due to mass manufacturing but actually when you see someone doing this first hand there's something almost magical, even mystical about it and you just can't replace that. I didn't become a professional cricketer till I was 26 and before that I was in the building trade so I worked for a company that did everything pretty much in a traditional way because of the kind of work that we were doing and that sort of stayed with me I suppose and I'm always making things, doing things by hand it's something that I just find fascinating and it's lovely to be able to create a product like our cricket bats with a little bit of my soul in them really Every piece of willow that I deal with is dealt with in a slightly different manner just because every piece of willow is different. So the beauty of actually shaping a bat by hand is the fact that you can actually pick the bat up at various stages of the process. So that piece of willow is telling you whether it wants a little bit more willow taken out of that certain area or a little bit left in there. and everyone is unique and every bat is made to get the maximum performance out of that piece of willow and everyone is treated with the same care and attention as the next one I was unbelievably lucky when I was playing cricket because it was during an era of the great overseas players, the, the best internationals in the world playing in our domestic county game. And it gave me not only an insight into what was needed at that level, but I used to see the quality of the kit that these guys got. And myself, I used to get really nice kit. But the fortune of it was whenever any of the internationals went to pick the bats up or get bats made I used to tag along and go and see what was happening and it wasn't with a mind that I was ever going to make bats because it never even crossed my mind it was just fascinating and to spend time with international cricketers or sportsmen is something that you're always going to grab grab hold of if you can and uh, I just couldn't believe my luck to be honest and now I can try and offer some of that quality to the general public and the service that the professionals used to get. tools that we use haven't changed much in probably 100 years that we're using. We're still using draw knives, spoke shaves and planes. You've got shape planes now, profile planes that are taking wood out the back of the bat because people are wanting big profile bats. Um, 
other than that I mean it's just the perhaps electric tools electric planers and and electric saws which take some of the time out of the, the work for us but in essence the handmade cricket bats are made by hand and uh, nothing can replace that because it's the feel of it the, the, the bat maker is picking the bat up all the time getting the feel for what he wants what the customer is needing and and that feel is unique to that bat maker as well and that can't be replaced by a machine in any way shape or form it's been nice building this business because from coaching it's been able to keep me in contact with young players that I coached when they were little lads basically and some of them have gone on to be professional cricketers and I'm looking after one or two of them now with kit but it's just as satisfying when old playing colleagues either former professionals or just club players come to me and buy for themselves and for for their lads who are becoming good cricketers now and they're thanking me because they're the best bats they've ever used so they're telling me which is quite an honor and very humbling so if I can carry that on for everyone who comes in to have a bat made or has a kit from me then I can only be happy with what I'm doing.